Remember that done is better than perfect thing? Remember how I talked about done is better than perfect the other day? Well, welcome to uh, Live for Friday with the uh, latest and last chapter on the uh, full spectrum marketing method. It's Bill Skladowski. Hi, how are you doing? Um, this is, <laughs> if you're seeing this again, oh, it's been a great day. This is the third try on this live video. The beauty of doing a Facebook Live video is that it is live and unscripted and unrehearsed. Emphasis on the unrehearsed. And the real beauty of it is there's a little button up in the upper right corner of every post. And if you don't like what you've done, you just go and delete it. And I did that twice before. So here I am again. Third time's the charm, right? <sighs> Welcome. If you're uh, watching this on the replay, thank you for joining us. If you're seeing this live, thank you for your patience. <laughs> it's Bill, and uh, we are here to help your local and home-based business turn social media into profits. One of those things on social media is Facebook Live, and once I learn it, I'll be great at teaching it to you. <laughs> All right, that's awesome. Uh, what we do is we help local businesses just like yours, home-based businesses just like yours, navigate the waters of all the things they can do to get in front of more people and deliver their message in an effective way. If this sounds good to you, if you have friends or associates who also have small businesses of their own, home-based businesses too, please feel free to share this with them. And uh, I promise it'll be good stuff. It really will. Uh, even with the technical fun stuff that I'm experiencing. That's all on me, by the way. That has nothing to do with, uh, you know, Facebook or YouTube or anything else. That's all, it's all my bad. I'm creating a checklist as we go, kind of like a pre-flight checklist, you know, when the pilot gets ready to take off. Engines are running? Yes. Okay. You know, gas gauge on full? Yes. So feel free to share this around. If you have questions or comments uh, that relate to the uh, local business marketing method, please include them below on the blog page, on the YouTube page, wherever you find this video. I, re I read them all and I will be responding to them. Now, typically, like I said earlier in the week, uh, Fridays are going to be reserved for free coaching Friday. And yet today I wanted to finish with the full spectrum marketing method. We had started earlier in the week talking about it and I've kind of called it a three plus one method. And today we're going to do the plus one piece of it. And what is that? Email marketing. Great. We're going to talk all about it. Rewind just a little bit as we get started. Remember, we talked about Facebook. Facebook is the 800 pound gorilla in the marketing business. You and your business need to be on there often. Uh, and you need two pages. You need a personal page. Everybody gets one. And you need a business page specifically for your business or your product or your service. We'll talk more about all of these things as we do more videos. I'm just giving you the overview here. Then we talked about YouTube, which is a great way to really catalog a bunch of videos that demonstrate your expertise, your knowledge in your area of business. Whatever it is you do, you can show people that you really know what you're doing. Right? You can show them that you are an expert and that you have skills in this thing. Yesterday, we talked about a blog, that your company needs a blog. And I say blog specifically, not a website. A blog being something that you add to on a regular basis. Once a week would be great. With new information, a new article, doesn't have to be like, you know, the New York Times. It can be something short, sweet, and to the point. Heck, it can also be a video but some information that continues, again, to demonstrate your expertise and your authority in your particular business, something that helps people know that, you know, you know what you're talking about. Today is the plus one piece, and that is email marketing. You know, so many people think that email is, is done, it's over, it's dinosaur time. Well, no. I know most of us, when we communicate with our phones, we're either on the phone. Do you actually use this for phone calls anymore? I, I, I don't. I don't. But I do a heck of a lot of texting, and I use other apps uh, like uh, Snapchat and Instagram and Facebook Messenger to text, you know, back and forth with people. And yeah, okay, a little bit of phone calling. But email is still thought of as the preferred method of business communication. Uh, I, you know, just had an email exchange with uh, one of my clients, you know, and we're sending ideas back and forth and stuff like that. You know, I don't, may not have time to text him. We don't have time to get on the phone. Email documents everything. It's, a, it's just business communication. So I'm going to recommend to you that you think of it that way as well. 
as a way to communicate with your clients, your customers, and the people who might become your customers and clients. It looks professional and it gives you a chance once again to demonstrate that expertise and that authority in what you do. So, of course, it would be nice to have somebody to email to, wouldn't it? So, what are we going to do? As a business, in the marketing part of your business, I know, you know, if you fix pools or if you keep pools clean or mow grass or, or you know, bake donuts for a living, okay, that's, you're doing that. That's the big piece of it. But when you're doing the marketing piece of it, getting more people in front of your opportunity, in front of your business is obviously the prime directive of marketing. And if you can do that via email, that's a wonderful thing because, well, it's free. It doesn't cost you anything and you can do it anytime you want. You know, if you send out postcards to people or if you send catalogs out to people, that's expensive. That costs a lot of money to have them printed and delivered and email or, or physical mail addresses and postage and all that. Anyway, email is the way to go. What you want to do is have a way on your blog to be able to offer people the opportunity to voluntarily give you their email address. Now you can collect other information too. You can get a name and a physical address and a phone number, but email address is the piece of information that you need, okay? You don't even need a name. Doesn't really matter that much. That's a great thing, and we'll talk about why in a moment. The question now is how, right? If you've been to a lot of different websites, you've probably noticed the opportunity for you to opt in to an email list. In other words, there'll be something on the website that says, join our email list and get something in exchange and just give us your name and your email. Ah, you've just seen the big, big part of the equation here. And that is what I'm calling either the opt-in freebie or giveaway, or to use the really nice technical term, the ethical bribe. Ethical bribe, kind of an oxymoron, I know. What is that? Give some thought to the questions that your customers have when they call you day in and day out. What's the one simple thing that you're always answering? You're always, you know, you're a plumber. How do I unstop a stuck up toilet? Okay, you know, that's probably not something that you're gonna make a service call to unless it's a real emergency, but never mind. You know, it's something you can make a video about. Hey, what a great idea. But you can also probably do, you know, maybe you do two or three or five tips on simple things you can do around the house or the condo or the apartment to take care of your plumbing. I have no idea what they would be, but that's because I'm not a plumber, you are. So think of those three things and write them out on one piece of paper, one thing, you know, and make it look pretty. Get, again, get your local teenager, you know, son or daughter or, you know, teenage staff member to go into one of their fancy word processing programs and put your logo on it and put your address and your phone number and your contact information on it and list out the steps and all that and then turn it into a PDF. And if you don't know what that means, that's portable document format. It's the way that documents are sent back and forth on the internet. It's universal. In other words, it doesn't matter whether you have a Windows computer or a Mac computer or a whatever computer, a PDF can be read by any computer and that's the beauty of it. You turn it into a PDF, you write up a nice little headline for it, something splashy and catchy, you know, uh, 10 simple ways to avoid calling the plumber and spending $300 for a service call when you can do it yourself with these simple tools. I just made that up. Five ways to keep your pool sparkling clean in the summer so your kids will love swimming all year round. Four simple things to maintain your boat and keep it in tip-top shape all year round. Uh, you know, the, the options here are endless. Think of some splashy, eye-catching, ear-grabbing headline that's really going to have people go, wow, I need that, I want that, that's good. And in exchange for giving them that, all you ask for is an email address, the ethical bribe. You get their email address, they get your handout, your freebie, your giveaway. It's not a sales flyer, by the way. It's not the 10 reasons why you should use Joe's Plumbing, okay? It's real, usable, helpful information. And in exchange for that, you're going to get an email address. Now, as people come to visit your website, you're going to get more email addresses. As people see your posts on Facebook and you include a link, hey, to get my free report on three things to do to keep your boat in tip-top shape, go here. 
and they send them to your website. Now, I know there's a little bit of techno techn technology in there and links and everything, and we'll cover all of that in the days to come. But just know that, you know, if you have a web person, they'll know what we're talking about here. And if that's your teenager, they'll know what you're talking about here. And everybody who comes to your website, everybody, whether they're a customer or a wannabe customer, has the opportunity to give you your email, their email, in exchange for your freebie. Why is that valuable? Glad you asked. Anybody who does any kind of online marketing knows this cliche like the back of their hand, and that is the money is in the list. It's free to communicate via email. It's powerful to communicate via email. It gets you to have what we call in the marketing space, top of mind awareness, top of mind awareness. If you're a pool person, again, and every week or two, especially in the summer when pools are getting a big workout, you're sending out a free tip. Hey, do this to keep your pool clean. Hey, you got something happening. Hey, you need that. You know, just simple stuff. Okay? Make it good. Make it actionable. Make it count. That way, when somebody really needs help with their pool, it's like you're the guy they think of. You are the one at the top of their mind in whatever business you're in. Car repair, bakery. You know, you make donuts. Who knows? There's always some information that you can provide that's going to be helpful to people. And by providing it and getting their email, you can continue to communicate with them on an ongoing basis. Get some value out of this. Has this been helpful to you? I hope so. If it has been, please feel free to share it with others. If you have friends and associates who also have their own businesses, local business, brick and mortar, home-based business, doesn't matter. Uh, please feel free to share this with them. If you have questions or comments, leave them below, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook or on the blog. Uh, there's space for your questions and comments below. I read and respond to all of them. If you uh, do have a question for Free Coaching Friday, we will be doing that next week for sure. So please leave that again. You can leave it right here below in Facebook or anywhere else you see this video. All right. Well, that's going to do it. In the meantime, here's look. If you go over to my website, let me get my... Let me get my fancy sign back here for us, right? If you go over to superherobiztips.com, you can leave your email address in exchange for two freebies, a checklist on boosting your business, and also an audio training. So you get two for the price of one, and that price is free. So that's pretty good. And I also have a second offer. Wait, wait, look at this. This Now, this is the lowest of the lowest high tech, but it works, right? If you go over to uh, my website at BillSkolodowski.com, there's also there a full free cheat sheet and report on social media engagement. Now, if you don't know what that means, well, maybe you want to wait a week or two because we'll be talking about that in the videos to come. But if you're already on Facebook, you're already on YouTube, and you want to learn how to better engage with your customers and your clients-to-be, Head over to BillSkolodowski.com and you can uh, get that freebie there in exchange for your email address. You knew that was coming, didn't you? Okay, all those links are going to be below the video here. Thanks again for tuning in. Have yourself a great weekend. I will, uh, no videos this weekend. Go out there, have some fun, do some great stuff. If you're up north, shovel some snow. Uh, <laughs> and have fun out there. Be safe. And we'll see you on Monday. Take care.